In this example, we're going to take a look at these three expressions, and we are going to decide why they are not monomials. So we're saying that none of them are, but let's go ahead and show why. So the definition of a monomial, remember, is a number, a variable, or the product of numbers and variables where the variables have whole number exponents. And remember, whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So in this first one, we have 5 and we have n cubed. Well, 5 is a number. n cubed is a variable with a whole number exponent. But this is not the product of 5 and n cubed. This is the quotient of 5 and n cubed. So we're not multiplying these together. We are dividing. So this one's not a monomial. If, however, we said 5 n cubed, this would be a monomial. So this one's not because it's division. This one is because it's multiplication. Okay, so the next one is 9p cubed minus 5p squared. Well, it looks like we have numbers and variables, and those variables have whole number exponents, but we have this subtraction sign in the middle. So this is not a monomial because we have one, two terms. This is actually a binomial, so not a monomial. If, however, we were to break them up or to multiply them, we would have two different monomials if we broke them up. So 9p cubed, that's a monomial. 5p squared, that's a monomial. But you just can't be adding and subtracting because that is no longer a monomial. Okay, so let's look at this last one. We have 7 thirds u to the fifth v to the negative third. Okay, so we have a fraction here, which is a coefficient, which that's okay. And we have a couple of variables, but we need the variables to have whole number exponents. This one's a 5, which is a negative 3. Ah, so we cannot have a negative exponent because that means division, right? Because if we rewrote that, v cubed would be in the denominator. So that's no go. So this is not a monomial because we have a negative exponent up here. If, however, we were to change it to a positive exponent, then this would be a monomial. So no and yes. So just keep that definition of a monomial in your mind. And because we, we care about this because polynomials are built on this and we have a whole unit, a whole foundation of a function family that's built on this principle of a monomial. So it's very important. And that definition is it's a number, it's a variable, or it's the product of numbers and variables where the variables have whole number exponents.